hi guys how are you i hope you all will be fine in this video i will tell you about the crrt machine in this video i will only discuss the physical orientation structures and things that are related to this machine so let's start The name of this CRRT machine is Multifiltrates from a Fresenius company. This machine has 4 pumps. All pumps are color coded and the name of all pumps are according to their functions. First one is red color coated blood pump. The function of this pump is to regulate the blood during CRRT. Second is yellow color coated filtrate pump. And the function of this pump is to regulate the filtrate during the CRRT. Filtrate is a waste material that comes out during the CRRT process. Third is green color coated dialysate pump. The function of this pump is to regulate the dialysate fluid during the CRRT. Fourth, fourth one is substitution pump which is white color coated and the function of this pump is to regulate and maintain the substitution fluid during the CRRT. Like the four pumps there are four pressure transducers in this machine the function of these transducers are to measure the press to measure the pressure during the crrt process all pressure transducers are color coded first one is red color coated which measure the arterial pressure or excess pressure second is white color coated pressure transducer the function of this transducer is to measure the pre-filter pressure third one is venous pressure which measure the venous pressure during the CRRT process and the last one measure the filtrate pressure There is a filter which is attached to the left side of CRRT machine and this filter has also 4 ports. Number 1 is arterial inlet where the arterial tubing is attached towards the filter and blood enters into the filter via this catheter. Second is filtrate outlet. From this outlet, the filtrates come out and collect in the filtrate bag. Third is dialysate inlet. From this, from this port, the dialysate fluid enter into the filter. The last one is venous outlet. From this outlet. The venous blood come out from the filter. Here is the air detector. As you know, air bubbles are very harmful for human body. So this machine has a safety measures to detect the air bubble. And this is optical detector. Let's take an example how it works. In air detector, venous bubble catcher is attached and the tubing of this venous bubble catcher is passed to the optical detector. Whenever a bubble comes in this venous catcher, air detector detects the bubble and optical detector clamp the tubing 
and prevent the bubble to move into the human body. So this is this is a one safety measure which is used in this machine. It has the four scales. First one scale is called dinosaur scale, where we place the dinosaur solution and we can put up to 12 kg solution. A dinosaur tubing is attached to this bag and this tubing is passed to the dinosaur pump. And this is a dinosaur heater. The function of this heater is to warm the dilated fluid according to desired temperature. After passing through the dilated heater, the dilated tubing is finally attached to the dilated inlet with the filter. Scale 2 is called a substitution scale, where we place the substitution fluid. and the substitution tubing are also attached with this bag and passed through the substitution pump here is again a substitution heater the purpose of this heater is same as like the dilacate heater to warm the substitution fluid after passing through the substitution heater the tubing of substitution fluid is finally attached to the venous bubble catcher or the venous line here are two and other scale scale 3 and scale 4 here the filtrate bag is attached which collect the waste material and it collect, it has the capacity to collect the waste material up to 24 kg From the outlet of filtrate outlet, from the filtrate outlet, the filtrate tubing is passed through the filtrate pump. And here is a safety measure. Here is a, and this safety measure is blood leak detector. Active filtrate tubing is only collect the filtrate, which is the waste material, to and and if blood comes through this tubing then this detector detect the blood and start alarming so it is an other safety measure of multi filtrate crt machine so it has a 10.4 inch lcd screen which is non touchable and a key control so let's discuss the key control first is the on and off key to turn the machine on and off you have to press it up to three seconds second one is start and reset for example if if you want to reset the alarm just press it third one is stop key if you want to stop the immediate action of the crt machine just click on it Next one is mute key. Second last is escape key or return key. And last one is a knob rotator which is used to rotate and select the option. This is a window or LCD screen which appear during the CRT process. It gives you lot information about the pressures and the parameter which you are set. On the left side you see the pressures. This is a arterial pressure or excess pressure. Next is venous pressure. Third one is TMP pressure. And last one is pressure before filter or called pre-filter pressure. On the right side of this window you can see the parameters how much blood flow you set for your patient you want to do, do the ultra filtration or not if you want to continue the heparin 
you can set it and if you want to administer the bolus just press the bolus button and how much substitution you are administering in your patient and as I said is on and off in my next video in my next video I will tell you about the modalities I hope you like it a lot of